So there are three main sources of information that tell us that bacteria have been around uh, billions of years ago, and they all come from sedimentary rocks, um, rocks that are derived from sediments deposited in seawater. The first source of information are microfossils, um, which are individual bacterial cells that are preserved in sedimentary rocks. Um, believe it or not, these have been preserved in rocks billions of years old, and we can tell a lot about um, the types of bacteria that were present from those cells. Um, the second source of information are um, fossil molecules. So these are molecules that um, bacteria use when they construct their cell membranes. Um, believe it or not, those molecules persist um, and survive in sediments for billions of years. So we can go to sedimentary rocks of a certain age, extract those molecules, and get some information about what bacteria were living and when. Um, the third piece of information um, relates to um, chemical signals that are preserved in rocks billions of years old. Um, these chemical signals um, are um, mainly in the form of isotopes and the, the ratios between different isotopes. Um, isotopes um, are different variants of a chemical element that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. It turns out that biology, and bacteria in particular, prefer the lighter isotope of carbon, carbon-12, more than carbon-13. Um, so when we look at carbon preserved in ancient rocks, we can see that um, it's enriched in carbon-12, telling us that, that biology um, and bacteria have been processing that carbon. So altogether, this information tells us that bacteria have been around for over three billion years, um, which is a substantial portion of our history. And it's interesting to, to think that um, we are all um, descendants of bacteria um, in a way.